This is the most requested video from my trip to QuiltCon 2023 in Atlanta. I'm going to be sharing with you today everything that I brought home from the amazing show. Hey quilters, I'm Kristen with icstarsquilting.com. Welcome back to my channel. I have shared with you all of the quilts from QuiltCon. I did a quilt Con recap. I have shared all kinds of stuff from QuiltCon, but today is the video that is most requested, and that is, Kristen, what did you bring home from QuiltCon? What goodies did you get? So today, we're gonna answer that. We're gonna get right into it. To be honest, everything went into one bag while I was shopping, and so it's kind of, it's kind of all over the place. Like all of the papers and all of the things that we bring home and all of the freebies and all of that, it all gets thrown together in a bag. Gosh, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with this. You guys know this is one of my favorite, favorite products. It's called Flatter and they had a booth at the QuiltCon show, right? And um, this is their new scent. It's called Wild Mint and it actually, I know, Several people, I told about it and they were like, why do you want toothpaste smell while you're sewing? It doesn't smell like toothpaste. It smells more like a eucalyptus type, um, soothing, relaxating scent, okay? And I really, really loved it. And because they had a deal, most vendors do when they go to these big quilt con shows or these big quilt shows, right? They have a deal. If you buy this, you get this. If you buy two of them, you get a bigger discount, right? So the other scent that I got was Yuzu? And it smells kind of like an orangey, citrusy kind of wake up scent, right? Let me show you like video from this booth right here. Do you see all of these different scents? And um, it was so funny. I was talking to one of the girls at the quilt show and she told me, she said, you have to go over to the flatter booth. It's like Bath and Body Works for quilters, <laughs> okay? And if you're a child of that era, you know what it's like to go in and have like you know, money to spend and you go into those Bath & Body Works stores and you're just smelling all of the things and you come home smelling like, I don't know, the entire floral shop itself, you know? <laughs> so I got a couple new scents of flatter that I am excited to use. Um, you may remember this quilt that I mentioned in my quilt show video and if you haven't caught that video, I want you to make some time in your schedule. Seriously, rearrange some things in your schedule and go watch that video because it is nothing but pure, amazing inspiration on these quilts that made it into this show, okay? They're just amazing works of art and I want you to see them. But I mentioned in there that there was a couple quilts where I was like, I, I need that thread, right? So after I saw a few of those quilts, it became like not a I want that thread, but I need that thread. So I went on the hunt for special threads and I went to um, Superior Threads booth. And first one that I found was this hot, hot pink color. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? So it's this neon pink. And I told the lady, I was like, I need neon pink, like as neon as neon pink can get. And I still think this is like a little bit um, rosy, not so much neon, because even though it's super bright and I really, really do love it, check out this one. That is neon. <laughs> And it's gonna be so pretty. I actually have um, on my long arm machine, there is a black light feature on it, which makes it easier to see when you're sewing like white on white, right? White thread on white fabric. It makes it easier to see where it is that you're sewing. So I found these two for neon threads. I also picked up a couple that I just thought would be really good staples to have for my long arm machine. I'm still building that thread collection. This color, you're gonna see show up a lot. Apparently, you know, you have a color in mind when you're going and then something catches your eye when you're shopping and you're like, why do I like that color? I don't know. Anyways, this was the color for me, okay? This beautiful, like, golden, sunshiny color. It's not really an orange. It's not really a yellow. Um, I don't know. It's not even like a turmeric color. I just, I really, really liked this golden color. So you'll see that kind of as a theme throughout all of the stuff that I bought, right? And then 
I love a good variegated thread. I actually already have this one and I'm almost out of it. So this one is a Superior Threads. It's King Tut and the color is Cleopatra. So it kind of has like a rainbowy look to it, but the color is Cleopatra. By the way, I am going to put the links to everything, all the different companies, all of the different things that I'm mentioning in this video down in the description box down below. Make sure that you check that out after you watch the video because I know you're gonna have questions for some of these and there's a ton of cool products coming up. Okay, let's move on to some fabrics that I found. If you're going to a quilt show and you see this booth, Villa Rosa, I have been with them from like the very beginning, years and years and years ago. I love their stuff, okay? You know, when I talk to people about the problems that they have in quilting, a lot of times what comes up is fabric matching. I don't know how to match fabrics. I can't pair prints and solids and other solids and other solids, right? Villa Rosa is one of my favorite ones that has taken that completely off the table. So they sell bundles of fabric, right? And this one right here is seven fat quarters and it was $21 for seven fat quarters. So again, not like a really bad deal at all. It's all pre-matched. So all I would have to do is come up with a pattern to go with these seven fat quarters. Now this one kind of has like a ballerina, um, like, you know, young girl feeling to it. So it's got some ballerina dresses. It has lots of stars. It even has some little crowns and things on it that I really, really appreciated, really liked and felt like it was meant for me. This one, I can't help it. I fell in love with it. It's actually not for me though. Miss Shelly, if you're watching this, close your eyes. This is the one that I picked out for a friend of mine. She wasn't able to make it to the show and said, hey, I need you to buy me fabric. So um, this one has nine fat quarters and it's $28, but look at the, all of the different fabrics. Like how beautiful would this quilt be if you used all of these fabrics? Now, you could go to the store, you could pick out each one of these and it might end up being like a slight bit less money wise, but these are all here. They're all pre-cut. They are ready to go with the cute little pink ribbon. And um, yeah, I couldn't help it. I love this company. And I actually, um, if you see in like all of my other videos that I've done where I show my hauls and stuff, I always pick up something at Villa Rosa. I always pick up something there because I do. I love the company. Um, more fabric that I found. This was at the Stripology booth. You know, the Stripology rulers. I don't have one of those rulers. That's like on my, uh, to learn how to do someday list. Let me see if I can show you these fabrics. So actually, why don't I just pull them out? Half yard cuts of each one of these. The difference between these two, if you're wondering, I think is maybe pink butterflies versus blue butterflies. I'm not sure. There might be a couple repeats in here just to get, um, here's another one with butterflies. This one has stars. Here you're gonna see that kind of uh, color start coming back. This has like kind of a copper shimmer to it. Beautiful little daisy flowers. That speckle fabric that like I can't get enough of right now. It has like that gold fleck to it. I don't know, can you see like the the shine on the fabric right there? It has that gold fleck to it. I love, love, love these ones. And then it brings in some darker colors too. So you're getting lots of florals, lots of big, big flowers, little, um, let's see. This one has like a little bug on it right there. See that dragonfly? I don't know, I think that's kind of more of like an artistic bug. I don't know if that's like true to, maybe somebody can tell me if that's like true to um, bug anatomy or if that's more like a, like I said, artistic bug. I love matching fabrics up, okay? That's one of my favorite things is to go into the store and match up my own fabrics, come up with my own palettes. But you know, there is a certain niceness to already having a quilt palette right there. It's very nice to have that as like a, an easy go-to, um, always in your stash grouping of fabrics, right? I didn't go crazy on the fabrics this time. I actually told myself I wouldn't buy fabric, but we both knew that that wasn't gonna happen, right? <laughs> so um, I did pick up another um, two solids. I think these are one yard cuts and this drew me in first because Oh my gosh, is that like not the brightest, prettiest solid pink you've ever seen? 
And then here is that mustard color showing up again. I got these from the String and Story booth and I also got to meet Holly Ann from String and Story. I love her so much. That's on my bucket list someday. I want to go visit her. I want to go see her store in person, but I did get to see her. I did get to meet her. In fact, I'm going to share this with you right here. This is all of her information on here. I have to tell you, every single booth there has something for you to take home. Papers, coupons, um, free patterns. You get overwhelmed with paper clutter when you're coming home from these shows. And so that's why I um, said I'm trying to organize things as best as possible. But let me show you some of the cool stuff that I got as I kind of like go through all the paper. You know what? I lied. I forgot there was one more thing of fabric that I bought while I was there. It was actually the first one that I bought because sometimes, sometimes you see something and it just strikes you and you, you don't know what it is that's drawing you to it, but you need it. <laughs> you need it and you have to have it and it has to come home with you and you don't have a good reason and you don't know why and you don't know what its purpose is going to be in your life or who in the world is going to want a quilt made with this fabric. But I saw it and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. I love that. Do you have some of that fabric? And the guy said, yes. And guess what? It's 30% off. They saw me coming <laughs> and in a good way. I'm not disappointed at all. And it is Arctic animals. So we have polar bears and actually some of the polar bears. Let's see if I can get it in the light just right. Some of the polar bears, that one right there. You see that little pearl shimmer that he has? Okay, and then here are some whales. We have killer whales. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm blanking out on some of my Arctic knowledge here, but maybe a humpback whale, a narwhal, and a beluga? I don't know, if, you're, if I got all that right, please give me like a million pluses in the comments down below because that was out of nowhere. Okay, that was like back to like fourth grade endangered species, um, you know. We have some cute penguins here. I'm not gonna tell you the names of the penguins because that I know I won't get right. Okay, we have some Arctic foxes and these have that same shimmery look to it. Here's polar bears that are on like a black fabric, same shimmer look to them. More whales on a blue fabric, more whales on a different blue fabric and Arctic foxes on this teal fabric. So when you put them all together, you get this really, really, gorgeous, sweet grouping of fabric that I couldn't turn down. And then he said it was 30% off. So I definitely couldn't let it go. So it came home with me, right? I'm very, I'm still very happy with my purchase. <laughs> Something that you can go a little bit overboard with at these shows is the sheer number of patterns that are available, okay? I don't know about you, when I go into my shop, I kind of, like my local quilt shop rather, I kind of know what patterns they have, I know what designers they carry. I'll go in and I'll browse occasionally to see if there's something new or something that I need in my stash, but I also tend to buy a lot of patterns online direct from the pattern designer. You know, if they release something new and they have one on sale, I will grab it then. Another designer that I really, really love is Emily Dennis, and she's with Quilty Love. And if you have seen her, you know her stuff is amazing. You may have seen me do a lot of her stuff as well. But this pattern kept showing up in my email, kept showing up in my email. You know, it was on sale for like Valentine's Day and I didn't grab it. But then when I was at the show, they had a big quilt. In this picture right here, you can see the quilt. It's already all done up and... <sighs> Guys, I bought the pattern. <laughs> I, I just felt like it needed to be made by me. When? I don't know. But someday it needs to be made by me and I love it and it kept showing up in my life. So it is now mine. I own it. And this one is Heart Gems. It's by Emily Dennis of Quilty Love and it has all of the different sizing on the back for, you know, whatever size quilt you want to make you can make. Her patterns are amazingly done. They're very clear. They're very clean. I love working with her stuff and I love her design style as well. Um, this one kind of took me by surprise. This is one that I didn't intend on buying, but I don't know. I'm going I'm to stop giving that excuse because 
when I say I didn't intend on buying, that just means that like, I didn't know it was gonna be there calling my name, but actually it did call my name and I love it. So look at this pattern. Isn't that beautiful? So this one is flowering snowball. It's a quilt top pattern and this is the eight inch one. They also had a six inch one, but when I'm doing something that is a little bit outside of my comfort zone, which would be like these curves and stuff, I tend to be like bigger, right? Bigger means I have to do things a little bit less to get more space. And it actually came with the uh, acrylic templates that go with it too, which I love and I think that's will come in very handy. I told you in my quilt video that Spoonflower had a make and take project and um, I took the stuff to make the make and take, but there were no rooms there at the time for me to sit down and sew my name tag. So this is what they have for you. They have fabric that they have printed to make yourself a name tag. And then they had little bitty um, embroidery hoops that you sit there and you stitch out your name and then you take this fabric home. But not only that, but they have a backing fabric that you can use this to cut with pinking shears and then add this to your backing fabric so you have a lovely little cloth hand embroidered name tag to attach to your um, lanyard that you wear while you're at QuiltCon. I still haven't made it, but it's on my list of things to do for me to make sometime. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to show you all of like the stickers and paper things that I brought home. This is an art quilt company that I talked to and it is saqa.com. They have different shows, they have everything that you could think of is an art quilt, okay? So it doesn't, even have um, major rules, but this is a club that you can join um, on top of the Modern Quilt Guild. If you're not a member of that, I highly suggest being a member of the Modern Quilt Guild. They have a newsletter that they put out. They have different free patterns that they offer on their site. It's just, it's a really, really good resource for modern quilting and for inspiration sometimes when you need just a little kick in the pants or you want something that you don't have to go and buy because you're already a member of the Modern Quilt Guild, so you can go and search through their free patterns. They have um, like a uh, community online and stuff as well. This is another booth that I had so much fun at. Okay, Sarah Hartz, um, she is a fabric designer as well as a quilt label maker. Actually, I should just say label maker, okay? My brain thinks quilts because we were at the quilt fest, but she is a label maker. Look at the labels that she has available in her shop. Now, these are not like customized labels like I talk about in some of my videos where you do need to put labels on your quilts. These are just for fun. I mean, how cute would this be if you added this to a bag that you made, okay? You just wanna add a little something on the side, a little something that makes it look um, handmade, something that catches people's eye. This one is quilting is my superpower is what this label says. Um, I bought several of these. I've already given some of these away as gifts um, to other people that didn't make it to the show, but I had to have one of the labels that said quilting is my superpower. Absolutely love them. And these are made to be like folded in half and sewn into the seam, but she did have other ones that you could go and you could sew all the way around the outside. She had so many different things. Just a reminder that I am putting down all of the links to the products that I'm talking about, the companies that I'm talking about, the people that I'm talking about meeting down in the description box down below. So I want you to go check out Sarah Hartz's website. This is the other one that I got. It says made by me on it with a rainbow and Look at that gold glitter, how fun is that? This is the last one that I have to show you. It's stitched with love, but it is also with that gold glitter thread. She was so sweet. Her booth was adorable, by the way. The fabric that is along the back of her booth, that's part of her fa her fabric, right? And sh her fabric is actually on Spoonflower, I believe. So amazing, amazing quality. If you haven't shopped Spoonflower, they're really great too. I love them. Okay, when I met Violet Craft and I saw her booth, I showed you her booth in the video with all of the vendors and like the recap video, but this is the, the it's not really a make and take, it's more like a take free sample. <laughs> I don't know, this is the, the sample that came from her booth and it is this pattern right here for this lemon and it is an English paper piecing pattern, right? which on the inside of it is this little template right here, which is an acrylic template from her and then instructions on how to make this block as well as a diagram on the back. These people right here, the Modish Quilter. This is a digital magazine that I love. I love it. 
Okay, I have been a subscriber since issue number two, and each magazine is filled with so many different ideas. There's different interviews that are given in each of the magazines. There's different patterns that are given in the magazines, and the photography is phenomenal. You will be very much inspired by it. If you, I'll put this up again, you can get a free sampler issue if you scan that code right there on the screen. And there's tutorials in each of the magazines. This sampler issue actually has a free pattern in it too. And it is a very nice modern quilting magazine. I highly, highly recommend them. This product right here was one of my favorite finds and I, Oh, I, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so these are um, quilt binding spools. Not only are they quilt binding spools, but they're clear glitter quilt binding spools. Do you see that rainbow technique there? Also, Miss Shelly, if you're watching this, close your eyes because I got one of these for you too. <laughs> I got this one for my friend who also got that fabric from Villa Rosa. So it came in multiple different colors, but this is a company called Stitch Supply Company. Here's the logo on the back so you can look them up. Stitch Supply Company. And this is for you to wrap your binding around and around and around and around and keep it organized, okay? I also showed y'all a while back, one of my sweet friends made me these and her husband 3D printed these for me. Of course, I requested pretty please can I have the brightest pink that you have? <laughs> and she sent me these and these work really, really well for keeping your binding in check too. Okay. It's a game changer. Okay. This one I got because obviously it's pink and it's gold and it sparkles. Um, and it's pretty. <laughs> so I loved that one. There's also a lot of, um, really good deals at the quilt show. So like if you spend, over a blank number of dollars, they'll give you something free or you'll get a percentage off or whatever. At that Stitch Supply Co, I got this cute little bag right here. And it's just a zipper bag, it's a project bag, that's all it is, but it has the clear front on it so you can see what's inside, it has their logo printed on it. And they had a couple different colors you know, for you to choose from. I think there was a teal and there was a pink one. And um, obviously I picked out the pink one, but this was the medium size bag. There was a bigger bag, like if you spent, I think this was if you spent $50. If you spent $100, you got the bigger bag. So it's fun to walk around this quilt show and see other people with like their bags and be like, ooh, you've been to, you know, the Stitch Supply Co and you spent a bunch of money there, didn't you? And of course they're like, yeah, I had to get the bigger bag. I had to just spend a little bit more money and get the bigger bag. I don't know. It's a silly like badge of honor that you wear when you're walking around with like the big free stuff. <laughs> um, let's talk about books that I found when I was there because I am also a book hoarder. I love books, but I really, really love physical books, especially when it comes to design books. Okay. Um, what caught my eye was this book right here. First of all, I've seen it multiple times at the show. I think I've seen it in a couple emails too, but I have a design background. I have a designer's heart. I love things that are very, very well designed and, um, especially like the quilts that have meaning to them, right? So this um, author, Thomas, I'm not going to say that right, Knauer? Thomas Knauer? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for butchering your name, Thomas. Okay, so Mr. Thomas here has written this book. It's Quilt Out Loud, and um, I think you might be able to find it on Amazon too. But he was there at the booth, and he autographed the book for me. Go make stuff. I do believe I will, Mr. Thomas. So he does a lot of things with text and like how to add these meetings to your books. I feel like I'm reading to like a, a kindergarten class showing you like pictures of this book. But, but look how beautiful this is. All of the different messages that he has added into his quilts, the way that he does the text alphabet in here. Um, some of it's paper piecing, some of it is raw applique. He goes through all of the different techniques that he uses, all these different inspirational things in here. Um, there is one with, uh, where's the one with Morris code? Cause that's something that I have been thinking about playing with for a while is Morris code in projects. Art should always be a conversation piece. It shouldn't be 
pretty just to look pretty. There's nothing wrong with that, but I like when art has reasons, right? I like when it has conversation pieces to it. So um, this just has tons and tons and tons of ideas and beautiful images in it. And I got to meet him and talk to him and that was really fun. And then I found this cute little journal by one of my favorite fabric designers, again, Carrie Bloomston. She and I would be really, really good friends if she had any idea that I existed. <laughs> I followed her work for a very long time. I love the elements and the design that she puts in it. Um, anytime I talk about her stuff, I kind of like, I kind of gush. So you'll know when I ever point out her stuff. But this is a really sweet journal and it's a creativity journal and it has different prompts that go like each day. And um, it's very colorful, very fun, very um, free spirited, you know, and there's not like a, a major format to it, but it gives you prompts to help you get some creativity out, to make your mind think slightly different, okay? The only other book that I picked up was this book right here, and it's Boho um, Embroidery, the Pattern Collection. Nicole Vol... Vo here we go again. Miss Nicole here. I actually took the class for this, and I'm gonna show you the stuff that I created in the class. So when you go to these big quilt shows, they do have classes that you can take. Step away for a few hours, go take a class, go learn a technique that is specific to what you want to get better at, and learn from these amazing experts. Now, Nicole is incredible at what she does. This is an example, this is just the back of the book, but this is what she does. So she does um, what is called like floral encrusted embroidery. That was the name of the class. There might be a different technique to it, but you know that I have been um, drawn to embroidery. And if you saw the quilt video, you know I picked out a lot of that hand stitching into the quilts as well. Not there for structural, but there for just design purposes to make it look pretty and, um, I appreciate the work that goes into that. So, so I bought a couple kits from Nicole while I was in her class because I wanted to make sure that I had the right type of products on hand. And this is one of them. So she kind of created these kits with like some different um, embroidery. This has some beads in it. There's some like, uh, I don't know, different things of yarn, different, what is this? Hand dyed floss, some smaller floss, some beads. This one is the same thing, just a different color palette with lots of other different things in it. So I appreciated her having that, um, those little kits available to us to buy because if I had gone to Michael's or Joanne or something like that prior to this, I probably would have come home with a whole lot more than just those two kits. Actually, let me show you some examples of the work that she has done and the things that we learned in that class. So to be completely transparent here, these are not my works, obviously. These are hers. They are incredible. They have major 3D quality to them and they just amaze me. Like, I wanna make that stuff so bad. I want to be able to embroider like that and add that to my quilts and add that just whole other layer of creativity. So what she had us do was she said, bring your favorite floral fabric and bring embroidery hoops and I'm gonna teach you the different stitches and I'm going to show you how to do this. This little bitty cute acrylic pin is one thing that we got from her while we were in her class, which I think is adorable. And originally I had brought this in to use as my floral fabric. You know, I love Allison Glass. I love her stuff. I have, this is one of my like pieces that I have saved for a very long time. I bought this fabric in a panel and I've saved it for a very long time because it's special. <laughs> because I love it, because I don't know what else to do with it, because I would be afraid that I would cut it up and I would use it in a way that I didn't feel was worthy of this gorgeous piece of fabric. I know it's silly, okay? I know it's silly. I can't turn it off in my brain. This is what I want to, to do. It's like, I was like, that's perfect. I will embroider this fabric right here and it's gonna be so lovely. But also in my mind, I knew hmm, that's a really big piece of fabric to start on in a three hour class. So I found this right here, which was a scrap, and I put it in this little bitty embroidery frame, and this is what I worked on while I was in class. 
So let me show you how gorgeous Nicole's pieces are. One more time. This one was one of my favorites, so I took a ton of pictures of it for inspiration. And um, this is what I got done. You can't even really see. I did that pink lining around the flower there. I did this green part right here, and I sewed those beads, and then I did some of this blue over here. <laughs> Obviously, I got a little ways to go, but I feel like, oh wait, I also sewed that right there. That's um, all nice and embroidered as well. So that like line of, of blue um, floral stitches right there I sewed and I did some French knots there. Obviously, I got a little ways to go before I uh, become as amazing as Nicole, but I have her book. I have, um, if you remember, I took several embroidery classes at the Houston Quilt Festival back in November, and I have those books. Um, apparently collecting books does not make you a better embroiderer, but I feel like it's worth a shot <laughs> for inspiration and to just see how people do it, to experience how other people use their artwork and, um, so I loved, I loved seeing that. Okay, I told you that I collected so many stickers while I was there. Let me show you some of the other fun freebies that I got and the stickers that I purchased. And um, here's one from Ruby Star Society that was a freebie. That one's a freebie. Love that. Another fun one. Creative Spirit. This is one of my favorites out of the freebie buttons. I loved, love, love that one. Peacemaker. It's super cute. I did buy this one. I did not get this one for free, but I loved what it said on the back, which is do something every day that can't be undone. This is from Modish Quilter, that magazine that I told you about. I think it's a really fun, a really, really fun statement. Itching to be stitching. That is me 24 seven. This one cracked me up. Please enter your pen and um, don't tell anybody, but I totally picked up some extra Ruby Star uh, tattoos. I loved them so much. And then there's these as well as the Phoenix. You saw the Phoenix on my arm when I was talking about the recap, but here's this one as well. So there's no way I should have all of these by myself. And I feel a little bit guilty for, um, doing them that way. I did not take them all at once. I kind of snuck back by a couple times and thought maybe I'll take one more and then maybe I'll take one more. And then I got home and I realized, Oh man, I've taken a lot of them <laughs> and I have way too many of them. I'm going to do a quick contest. If you want to win one of these extra Ruby star tattoos that I have, they're super fun. The ink is super dark. They're temporary, but they were fun to wear for the day. And, um, you know, they're pretty large tattoos. So if you put it on your forearm, like it, it covers up a lot of skin and it was really fun. Um, you know, just, just something to play with, but I'm gonna be giving away some of these tattoos. I'm gonna do a, a quick contest here. If you look in the description box down below, there's a link to a form and um, I'm going to be contacting the people on that form and sending out these little tattoos plus another couple freebies or so um, that I will be adding in myself. So if you wanna enter that, make sure you fill out that form below. Good luck. Tell me what your uh, thoughts are on my haul if I, brought enough stuff home with me or if I should definitely have gotten more stuff. I could have gone crazy. I loved it. I had a blast shopping and looking for new things. <sighs> I am so glad that I got to share it with you. I'm so glad that you're interested in seeing all the fun stuff that I brought home and I can't wait to share some more about the show with you. So I hope that you enjoyed looking at all of my fun new stuff. If you have ideas for how I can use it, I'm open to ideas. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. I'm Kristen with IcyStarsQuilting.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more new videos that I have to share with you coming up in the future. There's some really, really good stuff. Bye.